Welcome to the video. Another easy to use plugin to generate two dimensional RV of random circular inclusions was developed by our expert team for Abacus users. This plugin features creating a RV with high volume fraction up to 80% through combining three particle placement algorithms. Create the RV in few seconds. Intersection with boundaries or periodicity is optional. It is easy to modify the material and other features of the model. The material can be either isotropic or anisotropic. This plugin can be used for RVE modeling of unidirectional fiber reinforced composites with random fibers, RVE modeling of metal matrix composites, RVE modeling of concrete, RVE modeling of various particulate composites. Let's see how it works. After starting a new session in Abacus software, you can access the plugin by selecting the plugin menu on the main menu bar. With a simple click on the plugin name, the plugin interface will show up on the screen. There are three tabs General, Dimensions, and Advanced. At first, a volume fraction must be entered. A value of 0.81 was chosen for this example. There are four options exact closest, smaller, and bigger. Final volume fraction can be smaller, or greater than, or closest to the input volume fraction. Choosing the exact option means the plugin has the permission to alter the RVE dimensions to attain the exact volume fraction. Toggle on the periodicity feature to create an RVE with intersected particles at the boundaries, which is more realistic. Toggle on this option if your material is anisotropic. For this example, we use glass fibers, which are isotropic. Therefore, we toggle off this option. Toggle on following options if you want to. Import the part to assembly. Create static general step. Create a job. We activate all options. In the second tab, dimension. You must enter the length and height of the matrix. Then, you must enter maximum and minimum value of the diameter. Here you can determine the minimum distance between two particles, which is obtained by multiplying this input by particle diameter. In the third tab, Advanced, you will observe the settings of all three particle placement algorithm. The first algorithm is Random Sequential Absorption, or RSA algorithm. In the box, you can enter the maximum number of attempt to put a new particle in RSA algorithm. The second algorithm is random around particle or wrap algorithm. In the first box, you can enter the maximum distance of new particle from the current particle. This value is multiplied by the fiber diameter. In the second box, you can enter the maximum number of attempt to put a new particle around a particle. In the third box, you can enter the maximum number of new generations of particles around the existed particles. The third algorithm is Molecular Dynamic or MD algorithm. In the box, you can enter the maximum number of particles moves to put a new particle in the RVE. Important note. Usually it is not necessary to change the setting of this tab. Now, click the OK button. After a few seconds, the RVE will be generated. The exact volume fraction of the created RVE will be shown in the message area. You can also observe various generated RVE parts with different volume fraction and dimension. You can see from the tree that properties and sections were defined and assigned to the corresponded areas. Also, the part was imported to the assembly module, and a static general job was created. Now, enter the property module. Click Part Manager icon, click Edit button for Fiber Property. Define Elastic Property with Young Modulus of 72 GPa and Poisson's Ratio of 0.22. These properties are attributed to the glass fiber. 
Following the SI unit, since the RVE dimensions are in micrometer, young modulus must be entered in gigapascal. Now, edit the properties of matrix, which is epoxy resin. Define elastic property with young modulus of 4.2 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio of 0.3. For applying appropriate periodic boundary condition, we use one of our product, named as PBC2D. You can watch the full tutorial on PBC2D in our YouTube channel. First, we modify the mesh size to 0.01 in the first tab. Then, in the PBC tab, enter the name of instance. The name of instance can be seen in the tree. Then, left down point of the RVE must be chosen from the viewport. Similar must be done for the right top point of the RVE part. In the Load tab, select the loading step. Then, you can choose the type of loading, which can be tensile or in plane shear. Now, click the OK button. As you can see, Periodic boundary condition was defined successfully and can be observed from the constraint manager window in intersection module. Similarly, loading condition was created and applied to the RVE part. Discretization was also done successfully by the plugin. Now the model is ready to be solved by submitting the job. You can observe the result in the visualization. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment. And visit our website for more products.